Hello there friends and followers and welcome to this Hexplain 11 video. Get ready for some real fun and a real treat from Mad Flight Studios. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SP-30 by Mad Flight Studios. This aircraft has been built with the assistance of a real world pilot, a flight engineer and was tested by a real SP-30 owner and pilot. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find sufficient information on this aircraft on the web and the information that I did find was in Russian. Suffice it to say that the aircraft modeling and the texture work is an authentic and faithful replica of the real aircraft based on the pictures that I have seen. But there is a lot to this aircraft than what meets the eye. So let's go ahead and get started exploring this beautiful SP-30 by Matt Flight Studios. Based on my interrogation of real-world pictures of this aircraft's interior, I'm happy to report that the 3D modeling and texture work is an exact replica of the real aircraft. All the gauges, the readings inside the gauges, the switches here and the knobs, the placement of the um, navigation device, the throttles, the um, transponder, everything has been really modeled to look exactly like the real SP-30. If we move here to the back, uh, there is a headset and of course it is usable and this is your control panel to set some of the general settings for this aircraft. You are able to uh, set the plane condition to save and don't save and the difference is when you select save, whatever you do with the aircraft will be remembered the next time you load the airplane. Instruments unit in metric or imperial units, cockpit language in Russian and English. Uh, by the way, when you install, when you download the aircraft, you will find a folder that will that contains files to replace the uh, Russian WAV files. Uh, so if you are an English speaker, make sure that you do that. Uh, pilot on exit view, visible or invisible, and plane shake. I personally like the plane shake. Some people don't. You can turn it off. Turn it off here. All right, let's remove this here and let's go ahead and open the doors and let me show you some of the goodness that has been programmed into this aircraft. This aircraft features uh, full uh, walk around uh, capability. So let's go ahead and open the door here and actually let's open the door here as well. And now you can do this in two ways. You can either start moving outside the aircraft and uh, we can put shift and move outside and start interacting with the aircraft. Okay, so we can remove the chocks here. Or you could use the preset views, such as um, on the numpad, um, that way. And you can remove this here and remove that. So we are going to be walking towards the aircraft now. And when you do so, you will get this ground service checklist. Now, when the items are grayed out like this, it means that the items have not been checked. So we better check everything before we um, actually take this aircraft for a quick flight. Uh, first, we're going to remove all the tie downs. We're going to remove the chocks. All right, tie downs are removed. And now we can check the um, elevator. Rudder. And we're going to check the flaps on both sides, of course. As you can see here, back to our ground service checklist, uh, we can see now that all the surfaces check OK. Uh, in green, it means normal surface. And if you get something in red, it means that it's defective. And you will get the list of failures here. And you will be able to repair them. OK, so everything checks OK now for our walk around. Now that we have verified that the control surfaces are okay, let's go ahead and verify that the fuel is okay. As you can see, the fuel is clean. Now, if you get um, some red residue here, that will indicate that um, the fuel is not clean and that could actually damage the engine. And this aircraft is actually very sensitive to temperature. Uh, if you don't really operate it in the way it should be operated, um, it will probably uh, wear and tear very quickly. So the fuel checks okay. 
we don't have uh, a lot of fuel in the aircraft, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some fuel to it. And to do this, as you can see here, we have uh, put in the fuel barrel and we're going to add some fuel. It'll give us about half a tank or so. All right, fuel is good. And we're going to also install the chemical device um, or the chemical tank. There we go. And we're going to spray some chemicals over the trees uh, right after takeoff. This will install the, uh, the fans here, as you can see. And we're going to add uh, some chemicals as well. And we're going to do this exactly in the same way that we've added the fuel. Really a very well-made aircraft. Lots and lots of fun. All right, that should be sufficient. All right. We have now verified the aircraft's surfaces to be okay and fit for flight. Uh, the fuel is good and the tanks are full and our chemical tank is also installed and filled up ready to go. All right, let's go ahead now and check our engine. All right, first thing, we're going to remove the engine cover and we're going to click here. All right, so what you'll see here is that the oil level is right about here. But this is probably not the correct oil level at this time. And what you need to do is what the real world pilots would do is we need to move the props here. Okay, now once you hear that noise, now we can check the oil. And now as you can see, this is the correct um, oil level in the engine. The engine is okay, the oil uh, color is okay, and the level is okay, so we can go ahead and close. Uh, we need to put this back first and close the cover. Another thing you can do is you can replace the spark plugs here. And here. You can also change the oil filter. There is a brand new filter there. And on this side, we can also change the fuel filter, which is located down here. And now we're pretty much ready to go. Just look at that. The modeling of the engine looks absolutely great. And by the way, it does look exactly like the real aircraft as well. So it's really done very well. Lots of fun, this um, SP-30. All right, we are ready to put the engine cover back on. And we're good. And now um, everything checks okay. Let's head back to the um, cockpit and start this aircraft and take it for a short flight. Now that everything checks okay, we are ready to start the aircraft and we're gonna turn on the fuel shutoff valve to the on position. And we're gonna turn on the battery. CB switch is on. Okay, and mixture rich. Let's make sure the throttle is idle and we're going to turn on the fuel pump. All right, fuel is good. Ignition switches are on and let's go. All right, everything looks good. I like the shake, the sounds, everything sounds really good. All right, nav lights are on. And let's see here. Radios are on. And we are ready for departure. All right. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake. I really like the aircraft sounds, the, uh, the weight handles uh, on the ground. Now I cannot of course vouch for how accurate it is, um, but according to the developer, 
Um, the real-world pilot and an owner of this aircraft has tested this aircraft and they can vouch for uh, its flight model and authenticity. All right, we are lined up with the runway here and the landing lights are on. Everything else looks good to me. So let's go ahead and give it full power. Take off. Very responsive. Very fluid. Alright, let's go ahead and reduce speed a bit. Alright, so let us try to stall the aircraft. That's the shake. Yeah. All right. Very nice indeed. All right. Time for some chemical spray. So let's go ahead and turn on the chemical equipment. Let's take a look. tell you flying this aircraft is a lot of fun uh, it's a real joy to fly if you're a GA fan uh, this aircraft in my view is a must-have uh, very responsive very fluid um, and uh, I sure do hope that a real-world pilot would uh, uh, or an SP-30 pilot would take a look at this video and let us know um, if the stall behavior was accurate uh, according to my knowledge of um, you know, stall behavior in in such aircraft, in such small aircraft, what we've seen is probably very accurate. Really, really fun aircraft to fly. We are going to head back to uh, the airport now and land the aircraft. This is definitely a great start for this general aviation aircraft. Lots and lots of fun uh, to fly this aircraft, lots of fun to really maintain it, um, and it's very, very sensitive to temperature. And if you really don't know what you're doing, you could really um, break it. Uh, so you gotta treat it like the real thing. And uh, definitely, if you're a fan of general aviation aircraft, this bird is a must have. There we go, we're gonna land the aircraft now. A bit fast, there we go. Much better. A bit of crosswind there. And touchdown, ooh. That was not a very good landing. Uh, but we made it, and uh, I hope that, you know, you, you've got to see really what this aircraft can do for you. Here are my concluding remarks on the SP-30 by Mad Flight Studios. This aircraft is a must-have for general aviation enthusiasts. It's very immersive, very responsive, very fluid, very authentic, and immense joy to fly. All right, here we go. We're gonna park the aircraft here. And let's see, there we go. Parking brake is set. Before we bring this video to a conclusion, I wanted to express my gratitude to Mad Flight Studios for providing me with a copy of the SP-30 to review here on the Q8 Pilot channel. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I hope that this was a fair first look at this beautiful aircraft. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.